It annoys me when there are movies that try to pride themselves in realism, and yet have such gaping plot holes that are pretty elementary. In a quiet place, everyone is quiet because if they're not, they'll get killed by aliens and because apparently humans make different sounds than anything else. Crickets, rattlesnakes, birds, their sounds don't matter, though you didn't hear them in the movie so maybe it's to be assumed that they've all been killed and plant life is all that's around now? They never say, or at least not that I noticed, but maybe I wasn't in the right frame of mind when I saw it. Oops, a tree fell. No aliens? Oh, but if a human made it fall, well then, the aliens are all over it. Because, apparently, falling objects only make a sound when humans cause it. But really, if these aliens are able to have the technology to travel potentially millions of light years to our planet, wouldn't you think they could have better ways of hunting humans than sensing noises that we make? And seriously, why would these aliens want to literally destroy all life? Is there a reason? No, they're the boogeyman. It doesn't have to be rational or logical. They're just evil and want to destroy everything, and that's all you need to know for the amusement park ride to be enjoyable. Sure, everyone having to be so quiet made for a great edge-of-your-seat movie, but it was flawed, very flawed. And if it's been so long that they've had to be so quiet, what gave these people the idea that it would be great to have sex and later bring up a crying infant into that world? Wouldn't their sex have been loud? Or was having to be so quiet about it part of the allure? I mean, it's obvious that raising their other children was going to be rough enough. But it's like, hey, let's put our entire family in jeopardy for some good sex in the hopes that the child they create will be mute or something. And with even a special quiet room, why would they go out of their way to have yet another baby? It just doesn't make any sense. And come on, when they put so much focus on the hearing aid and high-pitched sounds, you know it's going to be the solution to something later in the movie. I honestly think that a lot of the allure of this movie is the fact that so much of it was completely silent. It's a stark difference from the usual soundtrack. It allowed for a different way of keeping people's attention, and for that I'll give it three stars.